try this again. I tried this yesterday, but this new camera, I screwed it up and lost all my footage. And then our test run got cut short. So uh, I'll see if I can get a better test run. So we're reading uh, 43.1 volts. Currently there are no amps and zero watts transferring. Uh, and the charger over there, if you can see the uh, green light is on, which means it's uh, it's fully charged. So, actually, I am going to, since it's in the state, first time I've ever seen it do that, I'm going to set the 100%. And you see when I wake up the panel, it pulls 0 0.02 amps. Not even a watt. Uh, so I just set, you hold that button down for three seconds for the up and set 100%. Um, so now I'm going to disconnect and we will go for a ride and we'll see what we get. Got the uh, trusty Garmin here. We'll get all this stuff set up and we'll go for a ride. All right. All right. <clears throat> so actually this is the very first time I'm even going to touch the pedal. Uh, we're still fully charged. And I'm going to turn the cart on here, turn the reverse, and we are going to back out. See, see it starts pulling negative amps, meaning it's going out, and the little arrows right by the 99 are going down, meaning we're pulling a charge out, we're pulling power out, and uh, it'll do the opposite of that when you're charging it. The little arrows will be up, and it'll be uh, not a negative sign. Okay, starting the trip. There's the track. All right, well, here's a surprise. Just put some new tires, and they're slightly taller. So, new top speed's 21 miles an hour. And you can see we're pulling a maximum of 1.9 kilowatts at full speed. Okay. So we're currently cruising about 14 or 15 miles an hour. Let me see if I can hit 15. Okay, 15 miles an hour. Average cruising speed for us. We've already gone a few miles. At this 15 miles an hour, it's saying we have about 2 hours and 53 minutes. 2 hours and 57 minutes. Just under, just under uh, 3 hours. So just by doing the math, and I've already gone about uh i'll have to look here but i've already gone about five miles so at 15 miles an hour for three hours that's about 45 miles range and i've already gone about four or five miles i have to check in a different screen but that's pretty darn good let me get past this here that's pretty good i had nowhere near that kind of range and this, this bounces back. See, now it says 15 miles, or 15 hours, 12 hours, depending on how much you're pulling at the time. So you want to reach a steady state and uh, hold it steady, and you can kind of see. And there, there will be a best cruise on this thing, you know, with the most efficient cruise. Uh, I don't know what that is, but I'm going to play with the details you know hold a steady state at 10 miles an hour <clears throat> and then calculate how far you can go <clears throat> and then hold uh, 15 miles an hour and calculate how you go how far you can go and then wide open throttle and then calculate f how far you can go and they're gonna be different by quite a bit so lots of traffic so they're gonna be different by quite a bit uh, but there will be a best cruise, kind of like a boat. We always calculate uh, best cruise at certain miles an hour, and it, it varies wildly on uh, on depending on various speeds, especially in a boat, because sometimes you have to get on a plane or you're just hitting trawler speeds, whatever. But on a golf cart, it'll be the same, and it's probably not going to be a wide open throttle. It's going to be something like 15 miles an hour or 12, probably something like that. But it appears at first glance that the range on this, I would guess, uh, is going to be conservatively between 35 and 40 miles an hour, leaving some in the packs. You don't want to take it all the way down to zero. If you notice, we're at 
89 amp hours left, 90%. We've already gone probably by now five miles, uh, which um, would be, uh, again, just about calculating it that way. You know, you got a range of somewhere actually around from full topped off to fully dead, probably around 45 miles. And this is just a 36 volt uh, standard, completely stock, with the exception I just put some slightly taller tires uh like a 1996 or 99 txt uh easy go with a set of dakota lithium 36 volt pack 312 volt 100 amp hour packs okay we just went on a little test run we're essentially a quarter of the way through the battery pack uh, 75 percent or 74 amp hours remaining uh, and our trip was about one hour roughly a little less but we did go 10.1 miles and top speed of 21 average speed of 11 I had some stop time there and disregard the odometer in the bottom right that's total since our last couple trips uh, but today i went 10.1 miles and we are at 75 percent remaining so that's a quarter that we used which was 10 miles so even if you do the math this way uh to a depleted battery at least 100 amp hours worth you would be looking at about 40 miles which is that's what we calculated earlier just by with the uh, cart in operation with how uh, how far it said we had remaining in time versus how fast we were going at the time and that was also somewhere between 38 and 42 miles uh, now sometimes I was going slower you know I was probably averaging I think in here it says I averaged 11 miles an hour I think I was mostly going about 15 <clears throat> and then we had some stop time too uh, so the range is pretty good it's roughly right around 40 miles if you went all the way down to zero amp hours um, how far could you go with these i don't know uh, when dakota sent them they said in the note there that they were sent with 10 percent so obviously dakota is not worried about having the batteries go down to 10 percent uh, but i'm going to call them and ask them you know how they've got these batteries set up uh, is it okay to always charge them to 100 and then take them down to 10? You know, if that was the case, then you have a pretty solid range uh, of about, you know, 35 miles conservatively uh, and comfortably. Um, so, and then of course with this Renogy meter, you can always see uh, and plan your trip. Like we go long distance in the neighborhood, we go to parks and things, and uh, you could... Uh, Say, okay, I, I've got about a 35 mile range. I can head 12 miles out, you know, 15 miles out and 15 miles back so that you make sure that you make it back. I've had that happen a couple times where on the old lead acids, we did not make it back. So the only, I got 21 miles an hour today. Before it's always been 19. And that's because I just put some new tires on these. These tires right here, uh, I don't remember the size. I don't have enough light here. Let me see if I can get the size. Uh, down there somewhere. But these these are on special right now. Uh, just got back. That guy's already up there. What are you doing up there? So I just these are on special right now for like uh, sixty dollars a piece. Tires and rims at Textron on special, and they fit on a stock cart. So it's like it was like two hundred and sixty dollars shipped or something ridiculous. Uh, I thought that was a pretty good deal, and they're maybe an inch and a half taller. So I have a speed plug, you know, the little jumpers uh, that you plug into this controller on this year cart to get the maximum speed. So this test was also done with that speed plug in place, which a lot of people complain reduces the reduces the um, range. Uh, but usually that's just because they have their foot in it more and they're going a lot faster uh, on average. Um, if you reduce your foot to what the other plugs would limit you to, you know, 15 or 14 or whatever, then uh, 
then you're gonna you're gonna have similar range so if you put the speed plug on it you're gonna get more but just for maximum range keep your foot out of it which is true of pretty much any vehicle that consumes energy so anyways uh, pretty dang happy with these batteries and and somebody thank you very much for pointing out this uh, meter which I really love because you know you had that stupid little bar graph before on the old lead acids and uh, that thing would say stay solid green or I'm sorry solid red like most of the time and then it would go down a notch and then it would just go down notch after notch after notch you know it really was a terrible meter to tell you how much uh, how much energy you had left stranded me a couple times um, especially when the batteries the whole lead acids get get crappy so roughly 40 mile range you know 35 to 40 mile range in these uh dakotas let's take another look at them the dakota lithiums three pack that you get as a kit um i would recommend ordering their cables i reuse some of my cables but their little setup makes it easy i should have bought it, it was like 90 dollars or something i don't remember what it was but i should have bought it at the time and you reduce your cart you know these this battery pack is like 90 pounds something like that i weighed them in my other video it's ridiculous and the old battery pack was like 350 360 370 and those were cheap batteries the, the good batteries weigh even more they have more lead in them so you could potentially reduce your cart weight 300 pounds gain lots of range uh and have an 11 year warranty uh, now, granted, these this battery pack uh, was around $2,000. I, th I think I got a military discount. I called them and gave them uh, my military uh, ID, and um, they gave me a little bit of a military discount. Um, so it was a little over $2,000 shipped here. Um, and considering that you could spend anywhere from you know 500 or 600 for the cheap ones all the way up to you know a thousand dollars for the good lead acids and here in florida uh you know at least the way we used our cart we were lucky to get two years out of them and the good ones we would get about four maybe uh, and that was dependent on how how much we kept up on them so anyways very happy with the setup and combo uh, we're going to paint the cart and do a couple other things to it. It's not going to be too fancy. I just We just use it around the neighborhood. I just want to have it much more reliable and uh, better to use. What are you doing? What are you doing? Anyways, that's our little cart. Love it. I hope this information is useful because I had no clue as of one month ago. Uh, all right, thanks. Bye.